Hello, Dragons. It's Coach Mobby. I'd like to welcome you to your official recruiting visit to Western Ohio University. Each and every one of you new recruits were handpicked by me and my esteemed coaching staff because we believe you all have what we call Dragon Strength. Not only are you young men exceptional athletes on the field, you're true students off the field, and that's going to be important moving forward here in Dayton, Ohio. Now look, guys. I know you got a lot of calls from coaches, staffs at Power 5 schools. I know you want to stay close to home and be with your families. But I have the one thing that none of these other programs can offer you, and that is opportunity. That's right, men. The opportunity to have your name etched in college football history. You want to know more? Great. Step forward and take the first step of this journey with me and sign your intent to commit and join the Dragon family. But before you do that, let's have a quick tour of our soon-to-be state-of-the-art facilities. Right this way, young men. Here is our beautiful main campus with state-of-the-art science and engineering buildings. All of this was paid for by the United States government and Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. So when you score your first touchdown, don't forget to salute the flag and honor your veterans, freshmen. Hoorah! This is our brand new indoor practice facility. You'll spend most of your days here, men, working on getting better and grinding your way up my roster. You put in that work under these lights here, and I'll make sure you get all the playing time you deserve and some. But don't ever be late to my practice. Which leads me to our main motto on this coaching staff. If you can't run, you can't play, gentlemen. We are dragons. I need my athletes to fly. So be prepared to make this track your friend. Through the East Tunnel outside of the track, you can take the catwalk up to your locker room. Now, I understand, it's not state of the art. It's not the best, but we do have plans to remodel this by 2026. We just have to do our part and put together some great moments on the field on Saturday, okay? Now take a good look around because what I'm about to say is very important. Men, I believe that players that look good feel good and players that feel good play good. Am I right? So with that being said, you all are the first to see the unveiling of our brand new jerseys for the upcoming season. And the best part, we are fully sponsored by Nike from head to toe, boys. And they hooked us up. We have our home and away options with three Nike-sponsored alternative jerseys. We plan on winning football, gentlemen, and we got to put that shit on while we do. You got your home and away option. You got your Nike chemical. You got your Nike acid. And you got your Nike Sea Dragon. We got the best jerseys in the MAC. I can guarantee you that right now. You like that? Let's continue the tour. This here is your new weight room, fellas. Soon to be remodeled in 2026 as well. Just got to win the MAC and it's yours. But here is where you flex your dragon strength. Understood? We need you in this room every day unless you are seeking treatment. You have to be one with the dragon, okay? Now, fellas, a lot of y'all are taking a chance on me just like I'm taking a chance on y'all. But I want to make it clear. This program is about winning, okay? We are two-time Division II football champions. We have dominated the Division II level, and next season will be our first in the MAC. The plan is to dominate there, and by your senior year, we should be headed to the Big 12 or the Big 10. We have lofty goals, gentlemen, because we have smashed and obliterated all of our other ones. No other coaching staff in the nation can say that to you, young men. That's why being a Dragon is special. Here at Western Ohio, we got the girls, the parties, and the atmosphere you want. But most importantly, we have the tradition, athletics, and education that you need. 
consider that on signing day. Now follow me this way, boys. I saved the best for last. Dragons, this is your lair, your volcano, your place to make yourself legendary. You are the king of this mountain. All home games will be played here at the beautiful Wright-Patterson Air Force Base Field, 30 minutes outside of campus in Fairborn, Ohio. I want all of you to take a patch of turf home with you, boys, anyone you like, because once you're a dragon, you're a dragon for life, and this field will always be your home. You too! It's your boy, Coach Ma, reporting live from Western Ohio University. It is officially week one and time for our Dragons to take the field for the very first time in the MAC conference. And I am ready to dominate. You hear me? Yeah. And it's very important that we upgrade these facilities because it's going to affect our abilities to bring in these four and five star recruits that we're going to need. Take a look right here. See, currently we got a D program tradition. Even though we've dominated the Division II level, it's clear the recruits want us to prove ourselves a lot more at this level, and that's fine, because we here to win, baby. Dragon strength, hoorah. Type shit. D plus pro potential, though. That kind of hurts, but that'll come with better recruits. Right here, you can see our coaching stability is also at a D plus, because I still have to prove that I can win at this level. And then you go down, and we have C athletic facilities, which is why we have to fulfill our contract with Nike, boost those athletic facilities. We win more games, players are faster, stronger, and then we get better recruits in here. So I've been work, I've been working hard. Actually, I've been at work with my offensive coordinator tweaking this playbook all summer. But last night, right, right before bed, I get sent a screenshot that made my heart sink. Boom. Here. You have our star quarterback, Junior Deshaun Miller. Spotted at a god darn frat party in his full uniform, which is a whole other team violation of itself. So not only did my star quarterback break curfew, but he's violating our Nike contract and unveiling the brand new jerseys before game day. What is he thinking? I have to punish him. I gotta set an example for the rest of the team. That is not Dragonheart. He just won a crucial quarterback battle against a other junior playmaker, Caleb Nobles. Miller was obviously the better quarterback during the spring, but the man broke the rules, bro. And don't get me started on the team mascot holding a beer. As I look at the pick, he's not drinking, and he looks more mad than drunk. He don't even look like he's having fun. But I gotta set an example. <clears throat> I think as a coach, I'm gonna get a kid a break though. Not only because I need to win, because we gotta fulfill this Nike contract, I'm gonna bench Miller for the first drive. And I'm gonna start Nobles. Hopefully, Miller seeing Nobles run out of the tunnel and take the first snap of the game will be just enough of a kick in the ass for Deshaun to get himself together. If not, we may be encouraging him to transfer next season and giving the reins to Nobles as a senior. What up, fellas? It's Coach Mobby reporting live from the press box. We got our first game in the MAC. Of course, we got Noble going to get the start after we had to bench Deshaun Miller. We're going to come run a speed option. <sighs> Not going to pitch. Should have hit the fake pitch. My boy got wheels, and he is gone. It's going to be the first play of the game. We're going to take this thing all the way to the house with the backup quarterback. And this is how we come in the MAC, bro. I told y'all, you come play for the Western Ohio Dragons. We blowing out. Look, we almost got a sold out stadium first week of the game. We got on our Sea Dragon uniform because Deshaun Miller leaked our home jerseys, but we gonna wear it in our next home game. All of a sudden it's 14 to three. I'm gonna try to uh, lock up on defense and get, uh, secure this blowout. You feel me? I see the pass coming. I see him coming across the real. That nigga fast as hell, boy. I could not catch him, boy. I, I saw him coming across the middle the whole time, but he was just too fast for me. So one thing I'm gonna look forward to in recruiting is improving the speed of our defense because Right now, boy, the boys just ain't it, right? So I'm a blitz right here because I feel like they're about to run it. I don't think they can pass on us. Wrong. He's gonna throw a post corner. Dot. E easy work. All right. 
But then they're going to try to run hurry up. He's going to try to run this comeback route to the star receiver. Easy work, bro. Picked off. Who are you playing with? But like I said, the speed of this defense, he's going to get caught from behind, bro. What is wrong with him? Where he get caught from? He got hauled by Toledo, dude. That's crazy. You don't get hauled by nowhere from Toledo. They don't even run fast. But, hey, them jerseys is clean, but his his, his back hurt, bro. He, he talking about he carrying the team. All of a sudden, bro, we come back in the game, bro. It's 14-3. Deshaun Miller's back in the game, right? We benched him for the first drive. He's going to run read option. And watch this cut. Whoops. That's why he's a starter, bro. This dude got next level athleticism, bro. He got next level. He's the cousin of ex-Ohio State quarterback and, uh, you know, Houston Texan Braxton Miller. That's Deshaun Miller. That's his little cousin. You know, he's from Huber Heights, Ohio. You know, we got him in the squad. All of a sudden, though, it's 35-30. I don't know how what happened. It's fourth quarter, 35-30. Man, these little boys try to come back. Deshaun Watson's going to throw up a dot. The star receiver, Sammy Watson Jr. And as you can see, he just drops it, bro. Or it was broken up. I don't know. Dude think he Quinion Mitchell. Whole time, he's already in the league. We don't know who this fake Quinion Mitchell dude is. But he just shut down our whole drive. Now we got to punt the ball back to these boys. Down five. 35-30. Coach Mobby is not happy. Uh, so we need to, to make a stop on special teams, right? Uh, no, you go flail. He's going to hit the hole. Quick cut. Make three people miss. Now they got the ball midfield. Down five. Uh, with plenty of time to to put this game back in control. But I, I smell them. See, I'm going to back my safeties up because I sense they about to try me. Our cornerback is beat, but we got that safety over the top and pick easy work. That's how the dragons fly. Now, we ain't got no juke moves. I do I need to improve the speed of my defense. Bad boy. Oh, uh, yeah, now somebody else hurt good. Every time we get a pick, somebody hurt. It's crazy work. But, hey, that should be enough right there. To secure this win. Now we're gonna get the ball back 35-30. You know me. I do not like the score. We are we, we need plays. Deshaun Miller should have just ran the ball. Should have just to it. But no, he's gonna scramble, run the wrong way, take a bad sack. I think he was drinking at that party last night. I might have a drug test waiting for bro at the crib. I don't know why he would do that, bro. Just throw the ball. But now Deshaun Miller make a play. Playmaker gonna step back, gets pressure coming off the edge, takes a huge shot and throws up a dot to Sammy Allen Jr., who makes up for that ugly drop, and we are able to put the dagger in Toledo and extend this lead in the fourth quarter. Head tap, rock the baby. You know, easy work. That's how we do these Toledo boys, bro. I don't know who would even go to Toledo when you can go to Western Ohio. Are you crazy? Western Ohio Dragons all day. Deshaun Miller takes a huge shot to the mouth and throws up a dot. That man got crazy arm strength. That's the reason he won the quarterback battle, bro. I could not bench him for this game. We need him. You see Toledo, I don't know how. All of a sudden, it's 35-30. These boys, these boys came to play. They got fake Queen Yon Mitchell, and then they get the ball back, and they throw it right to me on my usual alert. Now, the first time, I was slow, but I don't know who that was that they tried to throw to this time. He's not as fast as the last dude. That just clamp, bro. Don't ever play with me again like that. <laughs> Toledo. <laughs> Get up out here. Clap it up. Clap it up. Clap it up. Easy work. We're going to get up out of here with a quick dub. All we got to do after Jamelo Harris with a quick little user lurk pick. Uh, we just got to run the ball with our star running back singer. Get out of here with a dub in our first home game. Over the Toledo Rockets. It is easy work. We treat these boys like FCS Southwest. Dang it. Out. West. Check it. And look, my running back will hit the hole. That singer, he's a star. Make a guy miss. All of a sudden, we in the red zone again. I wasn't even trying to run up the score on these boys, for real. You know, I'm a coach with integrity. You know, we, we want to be light, but it's going to look good for the NCAA when we blow that ass out. So, we're going to call quarterback power with Deshaun again. Now, let me show you dragon strength and dragon heart. Easy work. Touchdown. I mean, he just dragging boys, man. Oh, shit. That's uh, no pun intended. <laughs> Heisman, easy work, bro. Let's get these boys the fuck up out of here, man. Hey, this is the first game, first week, first chapter. Welcome to Ohio Western, man. This is how we do. Ohio Western Dragons, this is how we do. We're going to blow out a lot of teams. Next week, we got to blow out 34-10 over Eastern Michigan. We 2-0. We're going to take over this division. Come back next episode. We got another big game. Let's see how that goes with this quarterback battle as well. And make sure we ain't got to kick nobody off my team. I'm out.